All right. As uh, Professor Heiner's stuffing his face, I'm going to ask the question, how many people here enjoy eating? I mean, <laughs> pretty, we're going to start off easy question. How many, how many of you guys wish you ate healthier? Just, just about everyone, and if your hand's not up, you're probably lying. <laughs> or, or, or more power to you, congrats. Uh, what if you could eat healthier without changing anything you do in your everyday life? Would you do that? Yeah, right? Sounds too good to be true, huh? All right, well, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I'm offering here with Green Lotus. Uh, I'm really proud of that name. I thought that was a pretty clever name. Uh, healthy, healthy fast food restaurant. Uh, drive through included in that. But uh, long story short, that, that was kind of my inspiration for this idea. It's a very passionate idea of mine. I, uh, near where I live at 35th and Main, the uh, fast food places to eat are KFC, McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, churches, Popeye's, China Feeds, those are all so healthy for you, aren't they? <laughs> right, okay. So I, I, I would like to eat healthy, but sometimes I just don't have the time, so this is this is where I went with that. So uh, I am seeking a $125,000 investment for a 30% stake in my company. Thank you, Charles. All right, so what is Green Lotus? Uh, real quick, little fun fact about the name, kind of how I was inspired for the name. Uh, the Lotus was referred to in the Greek legend as yielding fruit that induced a state of dreamy and contented forgetfulness in those who ate it. So I'm kind of a history geek, and I, I thought that was a good idea. So anyway, what is Green Lotus? Well, first and foremost, we are a healthy. We are a healthy fast food with quality. Fast food with a drive through uh, We're going to be quick. Like I said, drive through Obviously, you're going to have that inside that you can go in. You can sit down if you have the time. Absolutely. It's going to be affordable. Uh, people are so often believe that to eat healthy, it's, it's got to be expensive. No, I, I would like to prove that right I'm wrong. Uh, service, friendly customer service, uh, along with uh, along with your meal, you're going to get the best service you can in a fast food restaurant and environment. Like I said, if you go in, it's going to be a very nice environment, similar to something like a Panera, where you can sit down and have free Wi-Fi. Uh, we invite people to kind of hang out and relax and take a load off. So, uh, a little motto of ours, uh, eating healthy doesn't have to mean sacrificing taste. Common misconception. Okay? So what we're going to have, all healthy menu, obviously, everything on it. We're going to start, we're going to have sandwiches, some chicken, fish, things like that. Different types of salads, pastas with whole wheat grain, uh, pastas, wraps, either lettuce style wraps, uh, if you're looking for something without any carbs. Uh, or other types. As far as smoothies, smoothies would be a smoothies would be a big part. Uh, you can either have just kind of a fresh fruit smoothie with your meal, or you can also have a uh, like a protein smoothie for after workout, or even a meal replacement smoothie if that's something you're interested in. And as far as sides go, uh, a few different ideas. Things I was thinking about would be like Greek yogurt, carrots and celery, assorted fruits, nuts, uh, hummus, low fat chips, and uh, things along that line. So. Uh, as for pricing, what we've got meals would be priced in the range of seven to ten dollars for a, for a complete meal, a side and a drink. Uh, individual items, if you're not looking for the whole meal, just maybe the sandwich or the wrap, three to six dollars. Uh, individual sides, one to three, you know, kind of get those by themselves if you'd like. Um, and then for the smoothies, three to six dollars. Now you might think at first glance, six dollars that's that's a lot of money for a smoothie. These smoothies would be the, the, the bigger ones, the meal replacement ones. That, but listen, if you've been a smoothie king in the last year, you, you know that is not bad. If you want to get a nice good smoothie at Smoothie King, eight, nine bucks, and you're just like, what? <laughs> so, target consumer. Three traits I'm looking for in my consumer. We're going to kind of limit it down. It's not for everybody. Uh, health conscious, first and foremost. I mean, if you have no problem getting a Big Mac every day, all power to you. Go for it. We're looking for people with disposable income. Like I said, seven to ten dollars for a full meal. It's a little more than your typical fast food pricing point. Similar to something along the lines of Chipotle or ingredient mix, something along that line. Uh, you're getting a, qual a better quality food, so you need someone with a little disposable income, and they got to be on the go. Uh, like, if if you've got all the time in the world and you have disposable income and you're worried about what you eat. You have the time to go sit down and make you know, spend an hour and a half preparing a nice meal for your family, or you have time to go to an expensive restaurant, sit down, spend an hour and a half eating. So this is someone who's on the go, maybe lunch break, or uh, you know, just need some place to go relax. So um, first idea for where I want to go, 
right around Park Place. Has anyone been there? It's gorgeous, right? Brand new. It's it's really, really nice. It's down at approximately 117th and Knoll, so Town Center Road. Um, they actually have an undeveloped corner there. Um, I know for a fact that within the next two years, AMC will actually be building their world headquarters right there. But there's still also an actual little area there, uh, right on the corner, which would be perfect and ideal for a drive through spot. Um, as far as uh, talking to them about whether you know a drive through is going to be available at that location, they were kind of, they couldn't really give me a definite answer. They didn't really want to talk to me. Um, so I have, we have backup plans in the area. So yeah, Leewood, Overland Park, Johnson County area, definitely farther down south where, where the money is. So uh, further location information, like I said, Leewood, Kansas, average family income, 140000 They have disposable income. Population-wise, Leewood's real small, but it is on the border of Overland Park, which has a lot more people. So I mean, the, the customer base is not a problem whatsoever. There are definitely people. And as far as the Overland Park, uh, people that are near that location, average family income is approximately 120 to 130,000. And as you stretch away from that, it goes down a little bit, but still not too not bad. Also, very busy location. As you can see there, 69 Highway within five minutes, 435, one minute away, uh, plenty of uh, offices, corporate uh, houses, people are shopping at town center, Sprint headquarters with thousands of, of employees across the street. Plenty of businesses and, and, and workers in Park Place and Town Center themselves, so very, very busy location. So what problem does it solve? America is overweight. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but uh, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, two-thirds of every American today is overweight. One-third of all Americans are obese, a more severe form of being overweight. Uh, Fast food's partially blank. We're a society that's just on the go. You don't have enough time, so we go get fast food, and there's just not an option for something healthier to help kind of prevent that. So fast food, uh, partially to blame there. Um, also, there is an aspiration for being healthier in society today. According to a report in April 2011 by the American Public Health Association, there is a trend of Americans making healthier lifestyle choices, such as eating better and exercising more. People want to be healthier. So why don't they do it? Five simple reasons. And if anyone else has any others, I'd love to hear. But these are going to encompass just about every reason why people don't. Availability. It's not easily accessible. It's, it's uh, few and far between each location. Cost, like I said, everyone associates it with really expensive food, ingredients, to make your own, etc. to eat healthy. As far as confusion, how many here are professional diet, professional dietitians or nutritionists? Good, none of us. So we don't exactly, I, I like to think I eat healthy, but I, I couldn't tell you exactly what's in everything, what I should be getting and how many calories and how many grams and all that. So you know what, we're gonna do that for you. Time constraints. Like I said, if you have an hour and a half to go make yourself a meal, by all means, please. But if you don't, come here five minutes through the drive-thru, you're on your way. Taste concerns. We will provide healthy food that tastes good. I've had it, other people have had it, I can make it. It's, it's not hard to do, it, it, it's fantastic. So what will it cost? Here's a brief startup cost. Uh, this is just kind of looking at the startup feature. Uh, this is based off, of, uh, this is primarily based off of different models from different companies, including Chipotle, Ingredient, Mix, and uh, one that I found called Blind. It's, uh, his name is John Kunkel. Uh, he now owns and operates 11 healthy Mexican restaurants um, down in the Miami and uh, Florida area, and he's expanding, he's doing fantastic, and he had a big article talking about his startup costs and, and what it actually costs to create a business like this. It would be very comparable in size for his locations, as would mine, so uh, his was a great model, and I adjusted a tiny bit to adjust for the fact that I will have a drive-through, but I won't have quite as many seats as he would in the restaurant. So if you look, that's an approximation, so 313,000 uh, would be startup. Um, uh, so like I said, based off line. Um, all, and also, all of these uh, have been adjusted to account for increase in expenses. Everyone, what we learned in class, what, what John Kunkel said, ex uh, expect your expenses to be more. We've heard from all the speakers too, if you think it's gonna be 100,000, it's gonna be 200,000. So we've already planned that, planned for the worst. Expecting Pro forma financials, real quick, little snippet. Um, sales, I, I, without a doubt, easily think we can do one million in sales in the first 12 months. That is not that adventurous of a, 
of an estimate. And like I said, I'm trying to be on the much more cautious side. So uh, I have no surprise this year too, an increase like so if, uh, in comparison to the sales of Chipotle, an average Chipotle or a lesser busy Chipotle will do 1.6 to 1.8 million in sales per location. So I mean, I, I easily think I can compete, especially at that similar price point with any Chipotle. Um, industry average for profit margins would be 7% Chipotle. Obviously, they, they do it great. 9.7% for them. My uh, year one profits are, year one, first of all, is based on uh, having that extra 313000 put into it. Uh, a little startup cost, that's why it's a little bit lower. And I use the 7%. I went on the low side, even though I think I can do it better than that. So I think I can have higher margins than that. So real quick summary, why will Green Lotus succeed, we make eating healthier easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it, and we're giving people that opportunity. It's for the person on the go. We don't all have enough time. Affordable <coughs> prices, obviously people have been struggling with money, and so we're offering the choice to eat healthy, the option to eat healthy, at a reasonable price range. No confusion, we do all the hard work for you. We'll have experts figure out exactly what needs to be in your food so it's healthy, no trans fats, all that good stuff. It's delicious, it's true, it can happen. So never feel guilty eating fast food again. Does anyone have any questions before we start bidding on investments? <laughs> um, okay, so you're valuing the company are a little over four hundred thousand uh, dollars. If you're original, you're asking four hundred twelve thousand five hundred four twelve. Yes. So and I think, and on that note, I think that is also a very loose estimate, just kind of because I've been lowballing numbers here to play it safe. So you think but, the numbers lower than numbers high? Uh, I, I think that, uh, for your standpoint, the investor, that's a, that's a great point. If, if uh, the valuation model for a fast food industry, or a fast food restaurant, uh, is total sales uh, times half, basically, uh, plus inventory. So if I'm doing a million in sales, that's 500,000 plus inventory, so. But your profitability was 87.5 in the second year, and something like 39.3, or was it 40? 40, yeah. So you're gonna recover 100, you're going to see 140, 150 in profit in my first two years against that 125 investment from me. How long is it going to take for an investor to recover? Oh, not long at all. Oh, like I said, I, I really truly think each location with uh, the large number of hours we have and with the huge area and uh, amount of customers we could potentially do, I think we can grow all the way up to 1.8 to 2 million per location. That's just at that location. Obviously, once things are doing great, I would like to expand and open up other locations and whatnot. And upon doing that, we will gain economies of scale, and I'll be able to order things a little bit cheaper, you know, kind of cut down on costs there, thus making profits even better, getting up more in that Chipotle or higher range. And you'd be able to pull those startup costs out of your initial per first year profit margin and yes. amortize those. So his first year profits wouldn't be quite that bad. But I, I, I just wanted to put it in there just so. It, he was being conservative. Right. I see that. And as far as other uh, value uh, for the chain, for for this, for Green Lotus, um, other options are, uh, as far as the smoothies go, there's, there's a potential to bottle the smoothies and sell them at, at other grocery store or something like that. As for, uh, I, was, I, was, I would like to make my own low-fat chip. So we can back those. I mean, there's there's definitely options for expansion as well as franchising upon upon really figuring out a good model for how to do this. Well, I know you know you have a cut Bucky used before you took over another company was at one more parkway who he had the mix like religiously. So my question of park place location is there's ingredients in there. Mm -hmm. So if you've identified it as a, a similar restaurant, are you worried about going right to where a competitor is? Oh no, no, uh, absolutely not. That one that area is plenty big enough. One, that is plenty big enough, and two, we've got the driveway, or I'm sorry, the drive-through. Oh, I don't think we'll have a drive -through. We'll have a drive-through, which will be uh, definitely nice because some people can't afford to go well, in but and see, that's the thing is we find a parking lot. You're lucky to find a gas station in Bayway, so which, you know, is We great. have one. <laughs> so, so the drive-through, I'm wondering why not utilize a smartphone and have people app in their order? Just running it out as opposed to, and that's, I think and that's definitely, and that's definitely, that's definitely an option. You know, actually, you can fax and orders where you can order them online and stuff like that. Same with pizza places. Uh, absolutely, that's definitely something I would would love to do, and maybe just not going to be able to do quite a, as it starts. So. I like a lot about your presentation. I'm not crazy about the name. What? 
I think it's one of those things that we think about. You know why I spent thinking of that name? I, I don't know. <laughs> but but he, if you see that Melodius is a, is a, is a um, and of course, when they have uh, in the Odyssey that will help you forget. Is there, is there, when you're explaining well, There's this, not really a negative connotation. It's it's much more positive than negative. I think, <coughs> upon eating it, if I don't tell you it's a good place, could it be a spa? Could it be a There breakfast? actually is a green lotus spa. That's what I'm saying. If I look at this logo and you don't tell me it's about food, I think it, you know, it, it, maybe I can skincare line. <laughs> I won't, I'm not saying it doesn't convey yeah. green and healthy. Drive through spa. It doesn't convey the food. Okay. And I wonder if that's a concern. Because a lotus doesn't convey food. Okay, and I mean, I, I like a lot about the presentation. I just, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around the day. If that's the biggest problem you have with this, we can, we can work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I would be willing to, I would be willing to slide there. All right, thank you, Mike. Thanks.